Hey everyone, my name is InMotion and welcome to Plantera. Uh, this game I actually received from the developers asking me to kind of do a little let's play for them and kind of a little bit demo. It's kind of like a game without a plot. It's much like Stardew and Stardew Valley and Harvest Moon where you kind of plant crops, give animals and you kind of loot their loot them for money and then you plant more things and yada yada yada. Anyway, um, you play as a little blob guy, not really. He's your little helper. And I won't say too much into too much about it, but uh, you plant things and uh, that's money. You plant things and they actually grow li grow live, like kind of in real time. And these guys help you collect the crops. As you can see, the little carrots are already popping up. And once they pop up, this guy will harvest them, or you can click on it. And once you click on it, it'll collect money. And these guys, you have little pests that'll pop up from time to time. Like when you plant a carrot, you'll start getting rabbits that'll come up and try to eat the carrot uh so there you go you can harvest it you can see that guy is harvesting that one and then you get money these butterflies that grow once they start glowing you can collect them for one gold as well or three gold never mind my bad and once you get some money more money you can plant more stuff and you make more money and it's really cute because these little guys help you and when you level up you get more stuff and you get to plant more things and you get to harvest more things and it's not nearly as, I guess, casual. I mean, it's super casual. It's a very, very casual game. It's an indie game. Uh, point and click. Oh, I got money. But once you start getting a lot of crops, it gets kind of crazy. And then you have to fight and defend your crops from getting eaten. Because once I grow blueberries, I think I start getting crows that pop up. Uh, I was playing earlier just to try to get the feel of the game, and I was recording, but then I realized I didn't press the record button. Yay me for being a doofus. <laughs> it happens pretty often, actually. Uh, so I already kind of a kind of have like a feel. I played it for about 30 minutes before realizing, hey, I don't think I ever pressed a button to record. And lo and behold, I never pressed a button to record. Uh, so yeah, these things you grow more crops. The arrows right here, once you earn a certain amount of money, like I'm 5 of 500, when I get 500 gold, I can expand further out into the left or to the right. Uh, once you expand, it just gives you more options to grow crops. What's really cool about this game is that these kind of, because it's a side scroll game, um, you can actually plant things behind each other. So this is shrub right here. So there's a, your first and foremost is the ground, the the uh, crops that grow directly from the soil. And then you have your shrubs, which is the blueberry. Once you hit another level, you start being able to grow apples. Is this an apple? Yeah, so you can grow an apple, right? I don't have enough money. Dang it, dang it. Uh, so you grow... I thought I had another helper. Yeah, come right here. Uh, you grow another... You can... Ah, I don't know what I'm saying anymore. We're getting really distracted. I'm trying to grow... Yeah, so you can plant it right behind the shrub. And you kind of you kind of layer it that way, but and you kind of stack things up. Bunny, go away! Bamo! And it, it's nice because it prevents you from having to scroll from left to right so much. Uh, but eventually you're gonna have to go anyway. So that's when it gets really crazy when you have this long, long, long stretch of land. Um, you gotta keep an eye out on everything. You get foxes once you start. Uh, I guess collecting animals as well. You get foxes trying to eat them. And when I open this, you can actually see. So I can get. I can't actually open the tab anymore because uh, I started over. But you can get things like uh, what's it called? Uh, you can get scarecrows to ward off the crows. We can get a dog to scare off the foxes that will start coming up. I don't know what other predator creature will be showing up uh, further along in the game. I haven't played too 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 far into it really, but it's a, it's a pretty cute game. I, I really enjoy it. It's really relaxing, I guess. It's one way to say it. <coughs> ha, ha, hum, sorry. I'm still... Getting over my cold, which it's been- I'm on week two now, I'm waiting for it to just be over. I'm still getting my gross coughs, uh, and it's icky, I'm over it, no don't want it anymore, 
All right, so we're gonna start planning more things, trying to make more money. Uh, would like, would like that. So yeah, the chicken will grow eggs, which I just collected. And your plants, it'll tell you how much you can make from each harvest or each kind of bunch. So apples, they'll yield five at once. Ah! Ah! Okay. <laughs> well, that was a fox. And I just punched it away. But they are very resilient and they come up, they, they come back pretty quickly. Uh, <laughs> don't know much you can do about that, unfortunately. So at, at a certain point, you can open this. This is your tab where it allows you to get, I think you get fertilizer or something. Uh, you get scarecrows, you can get a dog. A dog is actually pretty expensive, but it roams around freely and it kind of scares off just the fox that will come by and try to eat your your pets. Which, you know, that's, that's no bueno. Makes for a very sad farm owner, which should punch things away. You'd imagine if you punch them once, they'd be scared to come back. And this guy is roaming off really far. It's not very s ah, ah. And I was like, I don't, I don't know why the fox just doesn't eat the rabbit. The rabbit's free game. I don't care about it. I don't know what's up with the mole too. Stop roaming so far. Can't keep an eye on you that way. Unless you want to die. And now there's a turnip. So each level of plant that you grow, so this one, uh, each carrot is worth one gold. Turnip is now worth two gold per each harvest. I don't know the, the point of a ladybug. You get a lot of money for clicking on them. And I don't think ladybugs are harmful to a farmer's clan. And I can be wrong, I could be very, very wrong, but I thought they eat the little buggies on on the leaves of plants because those are what actually hurt the plants from actually ever growing properly I think. That could be wrong, you can tell me otherwise, but it's a really cute game and I think this is pretty much an endless mode game. It gets, I mean, even crazier and crazier as you progress, as you level up further and you get more opportunities to grant, grow more crops. Uh, let's see. Fox, 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 fox. <laughs> I'm like, Get more shrubberies. Uh, no! Go away. Yeah, I'm gonna try and get a scarecrow as soon as I can. Uh, yeah, so this game is on Steam. It's actually really cheap if you're interested in it. It is $2.99, only $2.99 on Steam. And it is endless mode. I mean, I don't, I don't really see an end to the game. I'm pretty sure the it, it ends when you don't have any more land to expand on, I'm assuming. Of course, I haven't played until that part, so I can't really say for you. If you have played it and you know how the ending's like, let me know. And I'd be really interested in finding out what kind of end this game could possibly have. Uh, as much as I like the helpers, I mean, it, you know, you guys can't move faster, please. Help me harvest, because my, my hands are hurting from clicking so much. I can only do so much. I'm just saying. Alright. Let's see. Grow more more apples. And I it's a cherry tree, is it? Ah! Ladybug! Alright, the raspberry. I'm gonna pop a raspberry right there. But yeah, hope you guys do enjoy this game, or watching this. It's me clicking furiously. I don't know if you guys can actually see my cursor, because I have it turned off, I think, on on OBS. Uh, it's, it's really fun. I, what I want to know, and if you guys have played it, please tell me, is if I turn the game off, will the plants continue growing, and will my blue guys kind of harvest it continuously for me? Because I can turn it off, not play it for a day, and then I can come back and I can be bling and rich, uh, and I can plant a whole lot of things, but... I mean, I think that would be really cool. It's just you, your your level kind of gets halted because every time you harvest something, that's when you uh, gain an experience points. Uh, so I don't know how that would work in that sense. But without any further ado, I will see you guys in the next video. And I'm just going to keep playing this until I get bored. And I'm going to click until my fingers can't handle it anymore. <laughs> I'll see you guys later. Stay shiny. Bye!
Ja, går vi faktiskt.